today we are going to draw a pug. And a pug is that small little dog with that curly tail and those like really big kind of like eyes, those googly eyes. All right, so we're going to start with the top of his nose. And to start with the top of his nose, we're going to kind of go towards the top left area of our paper. So here, see here's like the middle of my paper, I'm going to go over here. So I'm just going to simply draw a curved line. And then I'm going to draw the bottom of his nose, so it's a up or a V, kind of like a curved V shape. And now I'm going to extend my sides. We're going to do a curved line and then another curved line on the other side. And we're going to draw a curved line up on top and another one on the other side too. So now we're going to add his eyes. And he has big eyes, so right here, that curve we just drew, we're going to draw a circle shape around. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Try to make, do your best to keep them the same size. So now we're going to add the center of his eyes. And we're going to make like a crescent moon shape. We're going to start at the top. And then we're going to go towards the left and make a curve. Same thing on the other side. And then again, we're going to make another one. And we're separating his eye into the black, the color part, and the white of our eye. So just kind of like how eyes, our eyes are. And then we're going to draw a little reflection dot. So we're actually going to color these in black and we can do that right now. Let me get my big Sharpie out so it goes faster. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we are going to draw the top of his head and we're going to start kind of like between our two eyes here and we're just going to make a curve, kind of like a straight little line. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight, it's okay. So at the bottom of his nose where the V is, so you're going to draw a little line and an upside down V. And then we're going to make an upside down, like an arch, a curve shape, and another curve shape. So kind of like the letter M, but stretched out. That's his tongue. And let's draw his tongue with the letter U. And he can have a pretty long tongue if you want him to. There's his tongue. And you can draw a little line where that little curve is. So let's continue his mouth. I want to make kind of like a curve line and another line on the other side that comes out that's curved. So on either side of his eyes, we're going to make a letter, kind of like an S curve. We're going to follow our eye shape and then we're going to turn it. Same thing on the other side. So it's kind of like a stretched out flattened S almost or like a worm. So at the top of your, so the top of your line here on top of his head, we're going to make little curved lines that come out. Kind of like a little comma. And now we're going to connect this line to the bottom of the S line curve we did for his ear. So we're going to just try to start out flat and then curve your line and come down. Same thing on the other side, so kind of start out a little flat 
and curve down. All right, so let's give him a little neck here. So draw a line but underneath of his ear and a line under his ear. Now pugs are known to have that like wrinkly skin right by their neck. They're kind of all like wrinkly. So let's give him his wrinkle. He's going to draw a C shape and they're going to extend the bottom by his tongue. All right, so now we're going to add his back and we're going to draw a line, maybe the length of your finger. So your big pointer finger. So you're going to draw a line. So there because in his tail and his behind legs are gonna be on this side so let's go over here now and we're gonna start with his or his first little leg we're gonna draw a curve line and go down and we're gonna curve now we're gonna draw another line on the other side like this all right so at the bottom of our first line we did here the curved one we're gonna draw the letter J upside down and then we're going to add another one, and these are his toes. And we're going to add a third one on the other side of that J the line. So we have three little J's to connect, and they're going to connect it. And then we're going to draw the bottom of his foot and then connect it to the other line. So what we're going to do now is we're going to draw his belly. And we want our other foot to kind of start in the middle of his eye. So if you want to draw an imaginary line into his eye and then go down, you know we're going to stop by your belly. So now we're going to draw a curved line. Right there. All right, so then his arm, a little curved line. And what letter were we using? An upside down J. Another upside down J. And one on the other side. And then, oh, don't forget the other side of his arm. So a little line and then curve and then connect your toes. So now what we're going to do is we're going to draw the bottom. So his belly. So you want to match up to your line here, hover over your arm or his little leg and draw a line. So at the end here, we're going to draw just like the, eye, the lines we did for his ears, a curve line and then come down and that famous upside down letter J for his toe and one on each side of that first J and then for his back foot we're actually going to start up here we're going to leave room for his tail we're going to draw a curve line and then we're going to reverse a little bit connect our toes now let's do his behind his last foot the behind foot we're going to do a curve line just like this line here we're going to do that J, another J, and last one. So we're going to do a curve line, come down and around. All right, now let's draw his tail. Last thing. So at this line here, kind of like his butt line, I guess you would say, um, you're going to draw, you're going to go out, and you're going to draw three like zigzags. It's kind of like his little hair. And now we're going to do the fun part, the spiral for his tail. We're going to make a spiral. So you're going to go around. You're going to come in. And you're going to spiral it around. So there is our pug drawing. So I'm going to add color. <laughs>